Hi, I'm Julie Learned, and I'm talking about my article, Doing History, a Study of Disciplinary Literacy and Readers Labeled as Struggling. Literacy researchers contend that disciplinary literacy is a productive route for all secondary students, including those who are identified as struggling readers, to build disciplinary knowledge and also literacy knowledge and skills. Relatedly, some scholars have pointed to disciplinary literacy teaching as a socially just alternative to the decontextualized skill instruction and deficit positioning that some readers who are labeled as struggling experience in secondary schools. Yet, little research has examined how classrooms and how instruction can facilitate youth's participation in disciplinary literacy practices, particularly those who are identified as struggling readers. So in this article, I present the case study of one ninth grade history classroom in which youths labeled as struggling readers were clustered. Participants were three focal students and the teacher, and I observed in the classroom over the course of an entire school year, so data sources included 48 hours of observations, 11 semi-structured interviews, including interviews with young people and with the teacher, and then also classroom artifacts. In the case, I closely examine the actment of one lesson in the history class, but then I situate that analysis in the class's year-long kind of social and academic trajectories. I show that disciplinary literacy indeed did provide avenues for focal youths to wrestle with and critique historical texts, to compare perspectives across socio-historical periods, to see themselves in history, and to disrupt deficit positioning that they were experiencing across other content area classes in the school. So I conclude this case study by discussing the implications for secondary literacy, for disciplinary literacy research, and also for social studies education.